Oh well, finally getting my garlic out. Still gotta dig it up and see what all is in there. Just pulled some here. I don't know if you can see that. Just pulled quite a bit of it. Seemed like someone was taking my garlic, so figured I'd be the one to reap the benefit of the rest. The beans are still going. Something tried to eat my tomato plant. Lettuce is still going. There's more to this, but right now, this area we're focused on right now is getting this garlic up. I tell you, you know what? Garlic is really not that hard to grow. And even if you have some old garlic um, that you may have bought some bulbs from somewhere, it could have been a while ago. They just harden and just put it in the dirt. And it's surprising how it is, it is still grow. And oh man, the smell is just fantastic. At least I know it's organic <laughs> and it's not GMO, thank God. Um, every year this, this, this starts too, for some reason. And I just add a little bit here and there, but wish me luck. I'm going to keep digging. That's what I got so far. And all of this here and yeah, we still got the cracks, but you know, we're trying to keep them wet and damp, but yeah, here we go. Garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We went ahead and picked up all that garlic. <laughs> had a couple more that we found, few more we found. So what we did was we made sure that we prepped this soil. We're going to grow something else here now. Um, my soil gets really impacted. So what I did was I put some peat moss and perlite, fish fertilizer, um, acid fertilizer, because I have a problem with the alkaline getting too thick, I mean too high on me. And a couple other stuff I put in there. I put my little mix and put it in my little pitcher and brought it out here and dumped it in there and just start digging and un, um, clunking this dirt. I mean, this dirt, I swear, it just gets so bad. So now we have beans back there. We have lettuce on the side. So I'm trying to debate what am I going to plant here? Now we still have hot sun. I'm going to go through my greens and see what I can do because right now I have watermelon, melons, and more beans, and peppers, and kale, and all kinds of stuff growing out here. Um, so what I'm trying to do now is think of what am I going to put out here. Tell you what, after the next um, few minutes, you're going to see a slide go through this and you're going to figure out exactly what I decided to plant. You're on this journey with me. <laughs> okay, we figured out what it's going to be. It's going to be Egyptian spinach. They say it's the um, food of the kings or food of the pharaohs. The pharaohs used to eat it in Egypt. And it's supposed to have four times the amount of nutrients that than regular spinach. And it grows around 24 inches. Now I overseeded, so that way I can thin it out. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, thanks for following me, Phoenix Anka, out here in the garden. I deal with nature, volcanoes, and earthquakes. I just love anything dealing with the earth. So let's see how this turns out. I'll keep you posted. Ciao.